Uncle Hoosh's hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to configure your controller in Daphne. Um, I'll show you how to do it within my Hyper Arcade build, but this also work with uh, if you're just running Daphne as a standalone emulator, if you're running it through a front end. Um, and Hyper Pi PC as well, this will also work for, because um, we're, we're just editing the Daphne emulator. Uh, so let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is uh, go into your Hyper Arcade folder, or wherever you have your Daphne uh, emulator. So I have Hyper Arcade, Emulators, and Daphne. Uh, Daphne was a patron-only um, Hyper Arcade release. So if you're using HyperPi PC, you would go to HyperPi PC, Emulators, and then you will see Daphne in here as well. But for the patron request, they requested it on Hyper Arcade. So I'm going to do this step by step. So Hyper Arcade, Emulators, Daphne, and we're going to go to DaphneLoader.exe. Run that. You get a little pop-up on the left here. Just close it out. And uh, pick a game. So I'm going to do Dragon's Lair 2. Uh, I'll just do Dragon's Lair for this video. It doesn't matter. We'll, we'll highlight it. Click Configure. We're going to go to Input. So all you do, and it's very easy, guys. Uh, if you want to, you know, player one start, double click and press whatever button on your controller. I'm pressing the start button, and you'll see that button 10 is there. So what I'll do here is actually reset to defaults. There, now it's blank. There's nothing under the button menu. So I tried to do my D-pad up uh, and all that. It wouldn't work, but my D-pad works perfectly inside of Daphne. So if it's not letting you assign anything here on these up, left, down, and rights. Uh, just use your arrow key on your keyboard. See, up won't work on my D-pad, so I'll just press up on the keyboard. But they do work on my D-pad within the game, and I'll, I'll show you that uh, once we're done here. So start one, double click. I'm pressing the start button on my controller. Uh, I'm using a USB Super Nintendo controller, but I mean, this is gonna work with any controller, really. Uh, start two. I'm guessing that would be the second player. Uh, I only have one controller hooked up right now, so I'm just doing a one player setup. So button one. Uh, I use the Y button on my on my Super Nintendo USB controller. You can use whatever button you want for button one, two, and three. So double click. Y. Double click. B. Double click. A. So we have our start button, button one, two, and three. Uh, coin one, we're going to need that. So we'll double click. I use select. Um, there's You can set the skill. Now, I'm not sure if that actually works. I never use it. I just play the games as they are. But let's go ahead and do one. I'll just set that to my X button, I guess. And I have pause. I set to my R button. Whoops, I don't know what happened there. It's set. So pause is my R button. And uh, quit. You don't really need if you're running through a front end because you should have a, your exit hotkey set up. But if you're just running it through Daphne, you could set this button up if you want. Also a reset button or a test button, whichever you want. So once you get your buttons configured to... Uh, to your controller. You can use these input settings for all games if you want to. So I'm just going to map L to quit, see what happens. And I always check this and then make sure you hit apply. If you don't hit apply and you just close this out, it's not going to work. So hit apply. Input settings were applied to all games. OK. Hit OK. And we'll run Dragon's Lair right from Daphne here since we're already here and I'm not good at these games uh, at all <sighs> so we'll just let it load up
So I'm going to hit my select button. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure you can hear my coins going in. On a quest to the... And now I'll press start for player one start. And button one for Dragon's Lair is your sword button. So whatever you assign button one to, that's for your sword. And then I'll show you. I didn't assign any D-pads, but... I don't know what to do here. I died. <laughs> That's how good I am at these games. Alright, I think I got this one. Yep. So I got my D-pad fully functional. Oh, right into the fire. But everything's working. I'll press, uh, I configured R for pause. And it's paused. I configured L for quit. And it quit. So, now we'll do file, and don't go to close, go to exit, and that will exit Daphne Loader completely. Now let's go back to our Hyper Arcade, open her up, and I'm just going to mute, guys. And we'll go to Daphne, and doesn't really matter what game, but let's do Road Blaster. I don't even know uh, if I'm going to be any good at this. So our coins are working. Start button works. And let's see what we got to do here. Okay, so. Ah, okay. So my buttons are working. I'm just terrible at this game. See, I'm maxed out here. And then let's see if the quit button works. It does. And we're right back to Hyper Arcade. So that's how you configure your uh, your button mappings within the Daphne emulator. And like I said, this is showing you how to do it through Hyper Arcade, but you can do it through HyperPi PC, any front end, or just the standalone Daphne emulator, um, because that's all you're configuring is the actual Daphne emulator. So I really hope this helps you guys out. Uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you're interested in uh, patron-only content, consider being a patron. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, I don't mention it in all my videos because I don't want to feel like, you know, you're not forced to to donate to my channel if you don't want to. But uh, if you if you do want to, to uh, donate to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. So again, guys, really, really appreciate everybody watching. Have a good day.